over again. <clears throat> what the fuck is this? Alright guys, so there's this really interesting idea that I've been realizing more and more as my life goes on. And the first time I ever first time I ever sort of came to see this idea, first time I was ever exposed to it, first time I ever heard of it, I was on a Facebook post a while ago, back in the days when you would get home from school and uh, just go on Facebook and chat to all your friends, or and scroll through your feed and look at terrible memes and sort of the beginning of internet culture. And there was this one time I saw I saw this picture of like a park and there was basically some quote, quotations around it or some text on the picture that said roughly, along, I can't remember word for word, but it was roughly along the lines of the last time you ever went to the park to play football with all, your, all of your friends, you didn't even know it was the last time. It was along those lines, right? So, if you catch my drift, right, there was the last time you ever did that was the last time and you didn't even know it. And I remember reading that at the time and just being like, fuck, that's so true. Jesus. And ever since then, particularly in the last few months, with all of like the philosophical reading I've been doing and practicing since the start of the lockdowns. I've really come to realize how true this is in, in everything, right? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and not get too wacky with this short film. I'm gonna try and not get too sort of abstract and kooky. <laughs> I'm gonna try and keep it as grounded as I possibly can. But think of, think of how many other things in your life this concept has applied to, or can be applied to, has been applied to, and can be applied to. The idea that it might be the last time you do or you do anything or see anyone and you don't even know it. And I think perhaps the, uh, the perfect example of this is, imagine a good friend of yours. It's a tragic example, but imagine if a good friend of yours, when he or she's driving back home from work, they have a car accident and they die. It's an extreme example I know, but picture that. What was the last conversation you had with that person? Did you truly appreciate that person and the time that you had with them? 
Did you make the most of it? Did you tell them how you felt about them? Did you make the most out of the time that you had with that person? And think of how this can be applied. Again, <laughs> I don't want to get too vague with it, but think of all of the other things this can be applied to. And but I'm not sure if you guys have ever watched Grey's Anatomy, but I was watching it with my girlfriend the other day, and it was this season four or season five finale, where spoiler, <laughs> George and Izzy basically are dying. Basically, for those of you who haven't seen it, there's these two characters who have this really <laughs> intertwining messed up but you know incredibly romantic dramatic hate love filled relationship and there's tons of twists and turns and it's like it basically at the end of the episode one of the characters is dying technically both of the characters are dying right <clears throat> And the show does this absolutely incredible, incredible five minute piece kind of discussing that principle that I just talked about how, you know, did you make the most of the time that you had? Did you make the most of that person? Did you make the most of your time? Did you make the most of your life? Did you appreciate it? Did you take it full advantage of it? Because tomorrow, next week, it might not be there. And yeah, it's, <laughs> I, that five minute segment, I think it's the season five finale, is the greatest five minutes of television I've ever seen in my life. It really, really is moving. And maybe it's just because, <laughs> I don't know, I was in a funny mood when I watched it, but I was like, that hits different. That hits different, bro. And I just want to make this really short film to kind of express a few ideas I have along these philosophical lines. And because there's a few ideas I've come to realize more and more, like I said, as I get older and as I practice more philosophy and there's a few things that I wish I knew a few years ago, you know? And so that's what I want to do with this short film, basically. And this is all off script. It's currently, it is currently, let's see. Sure, if the camera's picking this up. Yeah, 14th of June, 10 past 10. 2021. And this is exactly the point. Right? There's absolutely no reason for me to be doing this right now. <laughs> but I kind of have to. Because if I don't, if I don't do it now, then maybe I won't have the opportunity in the future. I'm currently living in Amsterdam, right? I'm studying computer science here, and it's there's been a whole bizarre series of events that have led me to right here, uh, doing what I am doing. And that isn't for this video. <laughs> but basically, when I moved here, I wrote someone who's really, really close to me a letter. And I, in that letter, I was writing to him about a period of time exactly a year prior to September 2019. And this was a period of... This was a period in my life where he and I were spending lots of time together and I detailed a few things that I remembered from that period of time like 
whenever I would finish a shift and work, I would always go over to his house and we'd go out driving and get fast food. <laughs> and it was like, we'd play games, we'd still play watching films and... Yeah, we just had, we had a lot of fun in that period of time, you know, it was like... Looking back on it now. And that's the point. Because at the time, at the time, I didn't realize it. And what I mean by it is, I didn't realize that that period of time, that those few months where the, the nights were getting longer, it was getting dark, that period of time, I didn't realize that one day I would look back on and see it as fond memories. See the memories of that period of time as fond memories. I didn't see it as anything special. I just thought it was just, you know, life, you know? I was waking up, working on a few projects, which you'll see on this channel in the very near future going to work and then going to see him and a few of my other friends and I didn't realize that it was uh, yeah I just didn't realize that it was a special period in time you know and it wasn't only until it ended and I was here in a different country and as I was writing this letter I realized that wow, it actually was pretty cool it actually was pretty special. It was special, memorable, happy times that were creating memories that I would look back on fondly. I had no idea at the time. Neither of us did. This has led me to realize a few things and the biggest one being I find it so hard to articulate this idea. This is it. Alright? This is your life. What you are doing right now. Like, this, this period of time that you are in right now. Usually, you know, you can get really... You can get really detailed and say, like, this moment right now, or today, or this week. But this period of time that you are in right now. The stage of life that you are in right now. This is it, <laughs> right? This is it. The people you see every day. These are the people you see in your life. The places you go to, the things you do, the food you eat. All of these things, what you are experiencing is your life. Right? And even as I say that, I think I sound ridiculous. You know, I'm speaking to a camera in my room by myself in, <laughs> in Amsterdam, but it's true. Right? It's so true. When you... When you think about it. And my simple message is, realize that. Realize that this is it. This is your life. You know, kind of like, <laughs> wake up, enjoy it, make the most of it, take advantage of it, so that when you do look back, if you do fortunately get the chance to do so, you can look back on it with fondness, with pride, with happiness. So, yeah. And some of the other footage on on my films, my previous films that I made on this channel, like Limits and Perspective, there's this, there's this clip of me walking towards the worm's head, Rosili. There's this clip of me like, going towards the sunset, basically, and I remember this night. It was, it was the last night that I saw this person, who's my cousin, by the way. And we, 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 I remember I took, I took him and my other little cousin who I'm really, really, really close with. We, uh, I took them in my car. 
we went speeding through the Gower lanes towards the end of the towards the end of the peninsula towards Rosilli. And the sun was going down and I really wanted to get some shots of that film limits. And we were just bombing it, listening to music, chatting, laughing. And it's so crazy to think that at the time I just didn't realise how special that memory is for me. Yeah, speeding through the lanes, the sun was going down, listening to loud music, the windows were down in the car. You know, we got to the Rossilli, we took these these videos and these shots of my films, and it was just the three of us there on the cliffs watching the sun go down, chatting with each other, cracking jokes, laughing, and we didn't even know it. We didn't even know how special it was. We didn't understand. And so what I simply want to say with this film is <laughs> this is it, right? Like I said a few minutes ago, this is your life, right? Live it. Stop waiting, stop regretting. This is it.